You are audible, Tejashwini. Go ahead. It's okay? My audio? Yeah. Yeah, ma'am. You are also audible. Yeah. Okay. Um, yes. So, uh, we are extremely fortunate to have Ms. Eileen Aurora uh, to, as our speaker for today. She started her career in 1999. Ever since, she has developed a vision for improving the quality of life, of wellness, and relationship between body and mind. She's the founder of Your Body Truth, and she studied wellness at Traditional Oriental Medicine Research Center, IMEC, uh, located in Japan. In 2007, she became the COO of a consultation company. In 2012, she became the operator and ambassador of Urban Massage in Paris. And she's also the managing director of Meraki Training Academy, and also one of the co-authors of one of Amazon's best-selling books, The Courageous Path to Empowerment. We're extremely fortunate to have you today as our speaker, ma'am. Over to you. Hello, everyone. How is everybody's from India here? We have people from everywhere in the world. How, how are you doing? We're all good now. So, we're good. So I, I'm just so happy because uh, I had a client before coming here. And uh, it was uh, Ayurvedic massage. And then it, this is one of my favorites of doing it. Very good, good, good. And uh, well, that is my favorite one to receive too. Uh, okay, we have, uh, I don't know if you are passionate about wellness. I'm in this area for several, several years and I'm passionate about it. So let me introduce more and let's talk about children today. That's the subject I child inside us it means in our in conscious mind uh, we carry things even if we don't remember what happened with us when we were small and um, there are some stuff i think i think now it's proven by science that's not a good idea to say to a child and i would like to share with you some phrases or some stuff never say to a, a child because it's going to hurt it hurts a lot for example, one of the phrases some people told me when I was a child is that um, I will never get money, I will never make money if I don't get married with a rich man. So please, if someone told you that when you was a child, don't believe in that because it's not true. And um, if you have um, a friend or if you grow up with that idea, what would I say to you is uh, it's not true. Even if you are a woman, you can make money, you can talk about money, you can talk about finances. Uh, in, talking about money and talking about figures doesn't mean if you are a man or a woman, it's, it's okay to talk about that. Uh, it doesn't matter. Another thing I would like to say is instead of saying to a child, for example, a little girl, for example, a little girl with some kind of ambitious says, oh, look at that um, T-shirt, I would like to buy it and you are a mother or you don't have money, instead of saying, oh, I don't, sorry, I don't have money to buy that, or you never have money to buy that. Don't say that. You can teach your, the child to, to make some savings and say, okay, um, I don't have money to buy that because I work and I have my own money. But one day you have your money and you'll be able to buy that. So, because if you say, Every time that the, the ambitions coming to, to the child's mind that uh, she's not capable or he is not capable or is impossible, you never buy, buy that car, you never go to another country, you never do that. The, the, we will grow up with that belief, you know what I mean? So I grew up with people saying to me that uh, I'm a woman, I'm a little girl, uh, is not interested with ADHD, so no, ADHD is um, a problem if uh, paying attention and stuff or concentrating and stuff and things. And uh, while uh, when I was 18, I was living in Japan. So now I live in Paris for 10 years already and have my own business here. So don't tell children those kind of stuff and um, 
there's another thing it's not good to tell to children is cut their dreams for example when you see uh, let me give a little little example because then you can teach children to negotiate uh, imagine there are two boys fighting because of an orange and they are fighting and fighting because only one orange and uh, you don't know what they want they are fine fighting and then you take the orange and you cut in the middle and you give one part of this orange to one boy and one part of this orange to the other boy and they are not happy and you don't know why you know why because if you ask to the boy why are you fighting about that orange one would say okay i'm fighting because of about the, about the orange because i wanted to use the skin of the orange to decorate some stuff and the other i wanted to use just the inside part of the or orange to make a juice so they didn't want you to cut they were they were negotiating so instead of interfering you can listen first what do you want what why are you fighting for what they are negotiating between the, being, but maybe they are just negotiating they are not uh, fighting because uh, because of something that's another thing it is important because they will learn to negotiate since they are very small that's another thing uh another thing that is important to not tell to a child because uh, it's really 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 complicated and trauma and um, it's when parents sometimes they say you are you have you have no, never use this this word you have to look after me when i'll be old don't do that because it's heavy. A child, when he's 10 years old, so is, a child is not obliged to look after any parents. It's the other way around. Parents, they must make money, they must work and look after their child. It's the other way around. When I will be old, you have to look after me. No, nobody has to look after anyone. Nobody. Parents, when they get old, they must make their own money in their own lives and leave their children to be free and decide what they want to do. I'm 40 years old, 41. My parents are okay. They are in Brazil. They have their own lives. They are okay. They are getting old, but they're healthy. When they want to visit me, they visit. When the, I want to visit them, I visit. And the, I don't, it's, it's heavy to carry that. And the, this child carrying that kind of heavy, difficult things will think in the future that all the diseases their parents have is their fault they feel guilty okay uh, my 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 mom had uh, whatever sometimes some shit happens and then uh, uh, okay um, my mom is sick and it's my fault not my fault she's sick because she's sick i have to i don't have to i don't have to that's this kind of freedom you go and you look after your parents if uh, okay occasionally but it's not something that must be heavy for you because uh, when you were a child someone told you that you have to look after your parents when you were old no you don't you life is very simple life is very very simple and we complicated everything when you were a little little child we depend on our parents we count on them and then we grow up and then we start our own families and then we continue it's it's very simple um another thing it's important not saying to a child can be a boy or a girl is when you get married i will interfere in everything first of all no don't do that and never say that to your children when they are teenagers or everything, what you can do is teach them, show them how can be a healthy relationship, avoiding being uh, in a toxic relationship that you can teach them, you can show them, but not saying, oh, when my, my girl find a man, I will interfere in everything. It's, it's only a girl, 12 years old, maybe even not 15 and uh, you are, already put your finger in, 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 in someone else's family. She will grow up or he will grow up. He will decide with him, with who he's getting married or not. It's not you, okay? 
is another thing that uh, we have to be very careful because otherwise the child will grow up and the child will know, um, even 18, 20 years old, will know exactly who to choose and will be insecure and ask her, her mother or father, oh, I don't know who to choose in my life. Oh, that's, that's complicated. You, we can be, we must be able to choose this kind of stuff without asking my mother or asking my father. Another thing that is interesting is, for example, if you're a parent and then, okay, I really would love my, my father, my, I'm, a, I'm a father, I'm a mother, I really would like my, my child or my daughter, my son to be a lawyer, attorney, for example. Okay, but that's your dream, it's not him. So let your children decide what type of, of expertise they are good at. They will show you, okay, um, I'm a musician, but my, my son is not a musician. My son prefers machines. And what, what, the, prob what, what the problem is, there's no problem, you know? Uh, this is, it cuts the creativity. It cuts the freedom we have. And um, just observe if your child, if your children likes to speak a lot, talking a lot, okay maybe goes for communication goes for something like that observe the way they are and uh, they will decide what type of you can give some hints some some children they are very ambitious since they are 11 five years old they say i want to be like this i want to be this in the future i choose my professional life and some kids are not they are just slower to decide them and that's okay no pressure the more pressure you make they will be in the future insecure and uh, they won't be able to choose their own career i i i live that i i was living my mother dreams instead of living my own dreams my mother for her i would be a dancer of ballet i'm not and it's not me so this is one of the things conflicts that happen in my life i know i don't dance ballet um, and uh, i didn't realize that i was living my life trying to please my parents instead of, of putting my talents to the society and giving the best to the society. So this is another thing that parents must be very, very careful. So anything, do you have any questions? Would you like to ask something, something about questions? I'm open to questions. No questions? So I'm gonna leave my here, uh, my contact, uh, my WhatsApp on the on the, the comments. If someone would like to talk to me later or another time uh, about that, and um, we can talk. And, and um, it'll be a pleasure to know you better and we can share more hints and more stuff, more ideas, more, uh about her life if you want to tell me about a little more let me just share let me just find here up uh, i'm at i'm in my uh, space in paris where is a little spa with a hotel and i'm responsible for the spa here okay so let me put here my contact details is my whatsapp okay Okay, I think, yes, it's done. My name, Aline Oara. So I'm Brazilian, okay. Japanese, Italian, and Portuguese descendant. Um, I'm Brazilian, Japanese, Italian, and Portuguese descendant, okay. And uh, I live in Paris for 10 years as a wellness therapist through massage, meditation, and I'm becoming a life coach. All right, so that's all. Yes, Anything else? Another care question? No, no care question. So that's my contact. Okay, thank yes, you for receiving you here. This is my house, almost, almost my house. I spend more time here than in my house.
Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your uh, informative speech.